Here I'm refining the UV layout. You can see I've selected all the hands and placed them in this corner. The way that I knew which hand was which and which was the upper side and which was the lower side was by simply painting them different colors. I'm going to reduce the brush size there. One, two, three, and four. And now we can zoom into the 3D window over here and we can see that the right hand of the figure is painted blue on the top and red underneath. This is the right hand over here. The left hand is painted green on the top and yellow underneath. Very good. So that's an easy way to identify these. And now I'm just going to go back and use the eyedropper and paint those out. They don't need much detail, so I'm not going to make them any bigger. These look like the feet. Let's go down here. Paint one of them green. That's the sole. And this might be the top. I don't know which one is the top. So why don't I just paint it? over here and now we can see that one's the top so we can work between the 2d and the 3d windows okay i need to move these around we're in the texture paint tab so over here i need to go into edit mode over here i go from image editor to uv editor and you can see that now the subdivision surface has been eliminated and we're just looking at the the regular geometry in the model. I'm going to select island mode and just select this guy. This is the character's left shoe. So I'm going to put it on left sole rather. I'm going to put it up here on the left. Same with this on the left. Maybe rotate it. And this one I'm going to rescale it. Move it up here. This one I'm going to move that up there. And here, again, scale it, S key, move it up here, here, rotate. I'm going to hold down the control key to rotate by increments of 15 degrees and move that up there. You can see it's picking up some of that color. We know it's the right hand top part of the shoe now. And put that there and then just select one two three four g move them over here and maybe scale them down even more because they're not really a critical part of the figure what i've done here is as you can see i've tied the figure up slightly i've added a belt an additional edge loop that you can see here we have the front and back of the the shirt part of what used to be the dungarees is this the front or the back? I don't know. I can move it around. doesn't make any difference. Let's move it over here. Ah, now with that blob of color, we can see that this is the front. That's good. So let's move it around like that, rotate it. So this is going to be the back, and I'll just scale it down slightly. And again, rotate it, but this time upside down, so that it meshes relatively neatly with the other half. I can always resize them if I change my mind later. Here is, what is this? G. That's the back of the pants. So R. And again, just rotate it 90 degrees, move it up here. This is the front of the pants. And although it's got the same geometry, you can see it's taking up a lot more space. Do we want to change this if we do i don't think we do actually because this may be useful in the front for detail so i'm going to take this and move it down here and maybe also just scale it down slightly like that and now we'll select these two g move these down all right what else have we got well this is pretty obviously the face again we'll hit g Yep, that is definitely the face. So we'll rotate that. Something like that. 
G, just make sure this is the, uh, is that the front of the face? That is the front of the face. So this is the back. Yep, yeah, that's the, that's the center line over there. And we might even want to scale this up a little because we may need to paint more detail. Here we have the front and the back of the shirt as before. I'm gonna move these down. And allow a reasonable space here. Let's move this over. Do we want to rotate it? Let's just check how skewed. It's not too badly skewed, if at all. So I'm going to leave that as it is and move that over. What is this? Let's move that. I think if we zoom in here, we can see that it's the inside and the lips of the mouth you can put that there maybe scale it up a little and then finally we've got these two these two and these well these are obviously the arms i'm going to rotate them like that and then move it that's the right arm, so it goes over here. So this will be the left arm. Yes, that's the left arm of the character. Put that there. And maybe just scale both of these down because they're just going to have a skin color. Remember, you can always change this at a later point, though you will have to revise the... Uh, the image. All right, so what's this? I think it's the belt. No, it doesn't seem to be. Let's try one of these. Yep, that's these are the belt. Okay, so what are these? Let's look for something that's green on the cap. Oh, we're seeing it here. It's the inside of the sleeves on the arm. So, okay, let's move that down there. And we could probably move these since they relate to the inside of the sleeves just over here. So they relate to the rest of the t-shirt and I don't really care which one is the left or the right. Here we have the belt, G and S, scale these up a little. There we go. And okay, what else could we do here? We've got a little extra space. I don't know what really needs to be changed there. Let's just move this arm over and scale it up. You never know. They may need some there may need to be some detail on these arms, like a a wristwatch or a scar or a tattoo. And that doesn't look too bad. So now here's our improved UV layout. Now we're going to paint this. So I'm going to begin by zeroing all this out. And we'll just do a fairly simple paint job. We'll start with the skin. So we'll choose a a color like this, maybe slightly desaturated. There we go. And we'll see what that does for us. And now I can go a little bit over the edges of these arms because there is some space for us to do so. I'm also going to choose the same for the head. Yeah, it looks a little yellow, so let's take it more into the red part of the color wheel and just do the same thing again. There we go, something like that. And the same here. I'm not entirely happy with the closeness of these two and these two 
So I'm going to go back from paint from uh, the image editor into the UV editor and just move this over and move that over as well. And then we go back from the UV editor to the image editor and I can just refine that slightly without getting too close to the other blocks of color on the image. Very good. Right, so now we've got the shoes. I'm going to zoom in on the shoes here, and we'll make the soles of the shoes just almost black. You generally want to avoid absolute black. F, remember, reduce the size of the brush. That's the shoes or the shoe soles rather and I'm gonna go in here and just make the shoes a kind of a darkish brown something like that and again we'll just carefully go around everything here so that we can't get too close to the other islands in this UV unwrap and there are the shoes now we've got the inside of the mouth that's probably going to be a reddish color so we'll click over here and we need to change the color okay something like that Let's see what it's looking like up here. Well, we can adjust that later. Not too bad, I think, though. What else have we got? We got the pants, pants, blue jeans, something like that. There we go. And we'll go in here. And as I said, we may want to refine this later. But for now, we're just going to rough this in. That's a little close. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. I'm going to go back into the UV editor and just select this, just scale it in a little bit. G, move it over so we have a reasonable separation again G I'm even gonna just rotate this and scale it down a bit more put it in here select both these even just hit SX and scale them along the X now we go back again from UV editor to image editor and continue with our painting. There we go. Okay, now we're on to the t-shirt. Why don't we have a red t-shirt? Something like that. No, actually green is going to probably be a little better there we go green t-shirt and if you want to refine this we can of course add extra edge loops or we can take this out into an image editing program such as Photoshop and refine it there possibly with photographic textures these these are the insides of the t oh look at that insides of the t-shirt so very easy to spot what that is there it is and these let's look at the insides and just paint those there we are so one of the benefits of keeping all your islands in the same part of the image you don't need to worry too much about overlapping when they're close and finally we've got the belt let's just 
go to to black for the belt and we'll just do one and two maybe go back into the UV editor select these two guys and SY okay that's a little better and then back into the image editor all right so there's our character again remapped a slightly more organized UV editor layout we have a fair amount of blank space here but then it's a simple figure we could certainly refine this let's go in here now and select the top of the shoes color which is going to be that and over here we're just going to be in texture paint mode and again we'll just as we did before in the other video just add a little more detail obviously if we wanted it to be precise we would refine the geometry okay there's our figure and we'll add a different kind of hair to him this time so I'm not going to change anything on the head file external data automatically pack into blend file external data automatically pack into blend make sure this is checked and save because this figure is still being changed and then we're done